Hello, welcome to Analysis of Theme with Poetry. We're going to work with a dialectical journal, but before we get started, I'm going to read the directions to you. These are the same directions that you will use when you complete your dialectical journal on your own. Preview the dialectical journal and then read the poem. Use evidence from the poem to respond to the questions on the right. Use the sentence stems provided to make inferences and draw conclusions about theme and its relationship to the human condition and cultural, historical, and or contemporary context. On the right is where you will record your responses as related to the text on the left. The poem is Richard Corey. First, you're going to determine a major theme from the poem. Next, you're going to discuss how the subject is relevant in a contemporary context. Third, you'll discuss how the subject is culturally relevant, so to people in our nation. Then, you're going to look at how the speaker comments on the human condition. Finally, you're going to address the author's commentary on socioeconomic statuses. Richard Corey by Edwin Arlington Robinson. Whenever Richard Corey went downtown, we people on the pavement looked at him. He was a gentleman from soul to crown, clean favored and imperially slim. And he was always quietly arrayed, and he was always human when he talked. But still he fluttered pulses when he said, good morning, and he glittered when he walked. And he was rich, yes, richer than a king, and admirably schooled in every grace. In fine, we thought that he was everything to make us wish that we were in his place. So on we worked and waited for the light and went without the meat and cursed the bread. And Richard Corey, one calm summer night, went home and put a bullet through his head. Let's examine a major theme that we could take away from Richard Corey. A major theme in Richard Corey is that perception is not always reality. The evidence to support the theme is that Richard Corey seemed to be an admirable person who had it all. However, in reality, he obviously struggled with something and had an issue that caused him to end his own life. Let's look at the contemporary context. In a contemporary context, people are often fooled by what they see. For example, whenever a person interviewed Robin Williams, he was always cheerful and smiling. Uh, he was always a comedic actor and a comedian, uh, but we weren't able to see what he struggled with secretly. That was depression. As a result of that secret depression, he ended his own life. So in society today, people are still able to hide the things that they struggle with. And we as members of society don't often see what's underneath the surface. How is the subject culturally relevant for our nation? Well, we prefer perfection. When stars and actresses appear on magazine covers, we don't get to see any of their flaws or imperfections. They're airbrushed so that they look perfect. We want people to see us in a good light, and so sometimes that means covering up the things that would represent us as flawed human beings. That was the situation in Richard Corey. His good mornings and his appearance allowed people to see what he wanted them to see, However, there was still that struggle underneath. What is the speaker's view on the human condition? Based on the speaker's view, we can tell that the speaker believes that humans are conditioned to want to live a glamorous life. We want riches, but we would definitely be surprised by some of the struggles that people who have a glamorous life are conflicted with. The speaker believes that we don't really realize the influence that conflict has on people who live a glamorous life. So let's take a look at the author's commentary on socioeconomic statuses. So the author comments on the differences between socioeconomic statuses. 
according to the author there is an issue whether you are poor or rich so you may not have food if you're poor but if you're rich you also have struggles that are hidden uh, turmoil related to different emotional struggles think about some of the superstars who seem to have the perfect life more money than they could ever spend in a lifetime michael jackson whitney houston these were people who you would never realize had struggles beyond what we could see you come to the end of the teacher model and now you are ready to complete your dialectical journal analyzing theme and the human condition with poetry thank you for your time good luck